Well, Senator Cory Booker, Senator Kamala Harris, is trying to come up with a new bill <laughs> to make June 10th a paid federal holiday. Now, before I go into the story, I want to thank everybody of all colors to help support Juneteenth. It is not the official day when we were actually free. We were declared free, but we had to go through a whole lot of process, a whole lot of roadblocks, a whole lot of mess to actually become free. And even when we thought we were free, we were oftentimes brought back <laughs> to the plantation, told that we weren't free. They did whatever they could to keep us there, including threatening to kill our family. Brutal stuff, but I, I'm not going to go into that. But let's let's look at look, look at this story right here. All right, Senator proposed bill to make June 10th a federal holiday. June 10th is recognized by 47 states in the District of Columbia as a state holiday or observance. <clears throat> Senators on Friday announced legislation to make June 10th a widely observed holiday that marked the federal order to free slaves in Texas on June 19, 1865, a national holiday. That's the key date. Also known as Emancipation Day, Black Independence Day, or Jubilee Day, Juneteenth celebrates the end of slavery after the Civil War, although President Abraham Lincoln Emancipation Proclamation has legally accomplished that within the Confederacy more than two years earlier. Imagine battling for your freedom for another two years after you've been declared free. Imagine you're trying to head towards your freedom and all of a sudden they change the laws in certain states using state rights as a weapon to keep you a slave. The 13th Amendment of the United States Constitution ratified in 1865 abolished slavery throughout the entire United States. The day which began as a Texas holiday in 1980, they've been doing this in Texas since 1980s, is now recognized by 47 states and the District of Columbia as a state holiday or observance and is marking the 155th anniversary this year. Imagine that. Texas of all place, buddy. UNICEF Kid Power is offering free yeah, online dance yeah. and exercise videos with a twist. Kids stuck at home can get active. June 10th is about reclaiming our history, rejoicing in the progress we made, recommitting to the work yet done. New holiday on their books from Nike and the New York Times to Target and Twitter, all marking Juneteenth, a day celebrating the end of slavery in America. So for many people, it's so like Independence Day. It was day. absolutely like Independence Day. It had the same meaning, the same res. I saw Independence Day. Will Smith real good. It wasn't the same thing. And then it's the same power for African Americans. It was that defining moment of freedom. President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, yet in many places, slavery remained alive and well. Well into 1865, you had slaveholders buying and selling, renting out the enslaved population because they thought the system was going to continue. And this is they, two this years. Was, this, was a, this was two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Slaveholders were trying to hold on to the last moment until that message was delivered. It took Union soldiers riding through the South, enforcing the order that many slaves didn't even know existed. Finally, word reached the last holdout, Galveston, Texas, in 1865. The date, June 19th, now Juneteenth. Today, Texas is considered the birthplace of the Juneteenth celebration. There are barbecues, there are um, talent shows, there are pageants, uh, a number of things. Well, rest peace. For some families, like the Smiths, it's as common as a Labor Day cookout. This year, it's a much more concentrated effort at appreciating what it really means to celebrate with family and to celebrate uh, the liberties that, that people have as humans. But with this year's holiday falling right in the middle of a social movement, a renewed push for... 
All right, guys, I got to break this down before we get too much into this, because um, I will get a copyright strike. But um, let me finish this article. Say Juneteenth is about reclaiming our history. Rejoicing in progress we've made and recommitting to the work yet undone, said Senator Cory Booker. In a press release announced the measure, our nation still has a long way to go to reckon with and overcome the dark legacy of slavery and the violence and injustice that has been persisted after its end. The bill was proposed by Senator Ed Markley, Democrat of Massachusetts, Booker, Tina Smith, um, and Kamala Harris, and John Corn of Texas as a co-sponsor. Now, I can hear what Booker got to say about this. I can hear about Kamala Harris, what she has to say about this. I can even listen to Joy Reid. But these two problems I got with these two women. Um, their legacy doesn't come from slavery. So whatever they say is just a comment. They have no clue. They only can imagine what it's like. Kamala dad, um, dad and Kamala mom never participated in the U.S. slave market and neither did Joy Reid. But let's see what these two knuckleheads got to say about this holiday. We're here on the eve uh, of Juneteenth, uh, where Donald Trump uh, darn yes. near had a rally on this date, but they, they chickened out and they are doing it tomorrow. But, you yeah. know, they're doing it on Saturday. Now, he almost had a rally on this date. My question to you, what if he did? Would that really be an insult? Do what day you participate in the rally make a difference to you? Him not having this rally on that on June tenth. Him not having it would that would 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 that, would that have brought black rights to America? Would that have closed the wealth gap? Oh, and he gonna do it in Oklahoma, the home of a uh, home of Black Wall Street. Okay. All right, and. How is that going to better you if he did not have the rally? How is it going to better you if he did have the rally? Nothing's changed. What satisfaction you get out of that? It's the respectability of the thing. It's respect. Man, I need my I need my reparations. I need y'all to do a whole lot of things to make equality 100% between blacks and white, native blacks and whites at that. I want to be more specific, not not native. I can't even call either one of us natives. Those who came to this country and reshaped this country from the foundation. Though, you know. Where's the equality? Yeah. But we are looking at a situation where there have been multiple people hanged, uh, ruled suicides around the country. Um, and I, I can't let you go without mm -hmm. asking you, you know, do you trust that we have a Justice Department that will take seriously the concerns that African-Americans have when you're seeing multiple young people um, hanged in various states? I believe uh, one or two of them were in California. Mm -hmm. And it is it is yes, it is frightening are. to think we have to talk about lynching again i know that you are a big part of a bill to try to yeah. create a federal lynching law yeah well you know again you to your point about the justice department one of the things in the justice um for, uh, for policing is bill our bill is that where we have seen with donald trump and bill barr a failure of leadership out of the united states department of justice we are also investing responsibilities and power in state attorneys general to take up the slack so in california for example the state attorney general is overseeing the investigation of those hangings that have taken place in california so where there is a failure of leadership at the federal level we also should invest folks at the state level to do it and and joy you should also know i'm uh, together with my colleagues cory booker and and tina smith and 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 ed markey we are we are proposing that juneteenth be a national holiday and we are dropping that bill um to say that juneteenth should actually be a national holiday okay well th make, making some news tonight and I, uh, Senator announcing Kamala it for Harris, the first time uh, uh, yes <laughs> And announcing it, making some news, yes. a federal holiday. That sounds yes. like a capital idea. Um, thank you. Yes. We, we always love it when you break news, uh, Senator. Thank you so much, Senator Kamala. Happy Juneteenth thank in you. advance. 
All right. So. All right. So they're working hard to get make Juneteenth uh, a national paid holiday. Great. Great. Do that. It still don't compare to giving blacks the, the just due reward that they deserve. But yeah, you got two people who are not native, not AD, AD, ADOS. They're not American descendants of slaves. People who have no grandmother, mother, or a great grandmother who told them about the slave, um, told them about Jim Crow, told them about, nah, none of that. Now, Kamala Mom had experienced it, but not on the level of her dad, because her dad, who happened to be uh, a black and uh, Scott Irish, Jamaican black and Scott Irish and her mom being from um, India. He only could tell so much, but her, her mother couldn't tell. But anyway, um, so they're talking about making it a national holiday. I believe this should be a national holiday. Now, my thing is, do you really want this to be a national holiday or are you trying to score political points with black folks? Your job is to do for the community, but what is your motive behind this? Are you doing it to stick it to Trump? Because if you're doing to stick it to Trump, man, that that's the wrong motivation. Are you doing it because we need it? And are you willing to go further in your bill to make it a national holiday and put some tangibles in the bill? Now, you, you're, the, the philosophy of the Democratic Party is let's do a couple of things for them and that'll entrap them in our system for decades to come, for generations to come. And that's what they've done. They gave us a little bit here, a little bit there, but never enough where we have full equality. But because we believe the Republican Party is not going to give us full equality, we tend to lean up under the Democratic Party because at least they're giving us something. As if you some kind of mangy, mangy dog that, that'll take any kind of scraps. Nah, bruh. I'm precious and important. You work for me or your butt is out. You work for me or your butt is out. So they are trying to make it a national holiday. I applaud that. I think it's great. Do that. But don't just stop there. Black people in Congress. Kamala Harris, you say you black, right? You really like 25% black? Booker, you're black, right? Or you have black, half white? I don't know. But come on, bro. Black people in America need more than a day off with a paid day. We need the wealth gap closed. We want reparation to the tune of trillions with a cash payment. We want more abilities to get homes, more ability to invest in businesses. We don't want that crap Joe Biden's talk about that. Um, Left every voice plan, which is for all people, not just black people. We need a black first agenda. Black first. Black first. Nothing else but first. Focus, brothers. Focus. Nothing else. Now, don't bring the LGBTQ on, on this on this particular segment right now. That's later. Don't you talk about uh, women's rights. That's later. Black rights first. Black rights first. We've been neglected too long since the foundation of earth. See, the bottom line is to be able to mold and shape this country into the beautiful, prosperous country that it is. Where's our pay for it? You got your pay and you living good. Now, some I have to say some white people are not living as good as black people. And, and tell you true, you got to fault that to your ancestors, because I guarantee if you look down the line they had something and they squandered it. See, they talk about how if we give this money to black folks, they're going to squander it. Well, you had your wealth and you squandered it. Give us an opportunity to make a decision whether we want to squander it or not. We still deserve it. It's none of your business whether we squander it or not. We wasn't worried about you squandering your wealth and your fortune that your great grandfather and great grandmother did. Some of them not had one house. One plantation, they had five. They had a staff of a hundred slaves, some of them. And then somebody got drunk, got to gambling, and they squandered their fortune. 
No different from people squandering, squandering their fortune today. Cut the check. That's all I got to say. Don't come telling me about some new holiday without cutting the check attached to the holiday court booker. Cut the check attached to the paid day off. And I'm not talking about no double time, no, none of that stuff. I'm talking about a check tangibles. That is more important than just a freaking paid holiday. 